always fresh, every day. You're watching Fast Lane Daily. It didn't do squat for the mortgage industry, but will new government cash jumpstart the auto loan industry and start moving cars off dealers' lots? We're gonna see. Also, Fisker teases a new luxury electric, an eight-wheel Japanese electric supercar could see production, and is the new Honda NSX really dead? What's up, everybody? I'm Derek D, and you're watching the last episode ever of Fastlane Daily in 2008. Oh, and we're on Twitter. So you can check us out at twitter.com slash fastlane daily. I believe it's right there. I think I got it right. Fast Lane Daily with Eric D. Always fresh every Moneylender GMAC scored $6 billion in funding from Uncle Sam this week. But unlike similar funds directed at the mortgage industry, that cash is actually going to free up the credit market. That, according to Reuters, which reports the company co owned by General Motors and Chrysler Parent Cerberus Capital says it's eased recent credit restrictions. The move would likely give a wider pool of buyers access to car loans. With credit taps flowing, General Motors says it's boosting its incentive deals. The company says it's offering 0% financing and cash money discounts. But if you want in on the free money, hike up your barrel and head to GM, head to a GM dealer pronto. Head to a GM dealer pronto. The offer expires on January 5th. Sounds like a commercial. All right, done. And Fisker says it's prepping a new luxury electric car for the Detroit Auto Show. The company founded by former BMW and Aston Martin designer Henrik Fisker says it'll debut the Sunset concept at Detroit's Kobo Arena in mid-January. That announcement coincided with a set of teaser shots from the company that reveal a few design details on the Sunset concept. Those shots some say show off what could be a new hybrid convertible. Sunset in Italian is Tramonto. And that just happens to be the name of a rebodied Mercedes SL55 AMG Fisker released under his own name in 2005. Fisker hasn't released any details on the new concept but company reps told Autoblog Green it will, quote, blow your top. So either it's a convertible or a double entendre mobile. See what we did there? And the genius behind the eight-wheeled Alika electric supercar says we could see a production version. We heard it before back in 2005, but with interest in electric cars spiking this year, builder Dr. Hiroshi Shimizu, yep, yep, yep. cool, and his team at Kyo University say they're looking for corporate sponsorship to build 200 copies of the Alika. Back in 2004, the Alika reached a speed of 230 miles per hour on Italy's Nardo test track. And the team's new goal is to reach well over 250 miles per hour, breaking the current production car speed record. The Alika is powered by eight 80 horsepower in-wheel electric motors supported by a lithium ion battery pack. All that can get the Alika from zero to 60 in under four seconds. No word on a timeline for production, but Dr. Shimizu's plan is to sell the eight wheelers for a price of 255 grand each. He loves tires. Next up, comment of the week. And after all the loose talk this past month, is the Honda NSX replacement still alive after all? And is it coming to Detroit? We're gonna find out. That's in the internet rumor mill right after this. All right. <laughs> hey Derek, what's going on? Don't drink too much, we got work tomorrow. Oh. No, no, Alan, check, check out your hat. You guys gonna see this. Look at Alan's hat. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to go to work tomorrow. Are you? Uh, <laughs> no, oh, so let's let's show that special. Those guys that came in and filmed us. You're talking about the um, 419 Park, right? Yeah, 419 Park. These dudes came in and filmed us. And uh, it's like a behind the scenes. And you're going to check it out. <laughs> Two days of it. <laughs> It's a short week, so do you know what time it is? It's the hump day edition of the last commenter of the week for 2008 time. And we're doing it today because tomorrow and Friday, we have a special edition of 419 Park. It's a new two-part series. You're not gonna wanna miss airing tomorrow and Friday. So check it out. Commenter of the week. Comment our show. Yeah, commenter of the week. Comment. This week's comment is in regard to the Christian Audigier edition LP710 Lambo. He's the guy who makes all that Ed Hardy gear that uh, personally is hideous and overrated. But anyway, the cow comes from DJ Easy Ice. DJ Easy Ice. And he or she said, that Audigier Lambo is dumb. Why would you make a limited edition car designed by a clothes designer that is going to go out of style? Good luck trying to sell your old Tommy Hilfiger Ferrari Testarossa. Thank you, DJ. <laughs> DJ Easy Ice. 
hard to say because it's cool. But thank you, because honestly, I couldn't have said it better myself. Hey, I just bought a new Lamborghini. There's nothing I would want more than to have some dude draw cartoon tigers all over it, a giant skull, and oh, maybe throw in a few bedazzles to really show what a gigantic cockpipe I am. Hideous. I seriously wouldn't let him even draw on the cobalt, even if he paid me. Keep those comments flowing, all right? Because we read them and we rock them. Let's go on. A Japanese supercar showdown in Detroit? That could be in the cards if the rumor mill has its way. Word came down last week Honda Nick's plans for its 600 horsepower NSX replacement. But new word from across the pond says that report could be premature. Dutch site Autotelegraph says Honda plans to roll out its final advanced sports car concept at the Detroit show. The report also says the yet unnamed NSX replacement will be close to the production version set to debut in the Tokyo Auto Show in 2009. The new rumor comes on the heels of Toyota's announcement last week it'll bring its Lexus LFA to market by 2011 despite current economic conditions. No word yet from either company on a Detroit supercar blitz, but such a showdown could keep the show from being renamed the Michigan Festival of Tears. Well, that wraps up Fast Lane Daily for Wednesday and for 2008. It's over. It's been a good year. Let's clap. 2008, everybody. It's about to be 2009. Yes. I'm Derek D. You guys have a lovely and safe, lovely? Who says lovely? You guys have an awesome and safe Happy New Year. All right? Be safe. And lovely. And lovely. One take, Derek D. Yes. Later.